you would like to add a youtube logo with your channel name at the end of the video that makes a clear message to your audience about your channel then this logo animation tutorial is for you this is the youtube logo animation and i'm gonna explain you how you can make this animation easily inside adobe premiere pro first of all i have to go to the file to create a new sequence and choose dslr 1080 under digital slr next go to the settings here in the time base select 60 fps so the animation will be smooth but you can't feel it in this tutorial because of 30 fps screen recording type a name here inside this box like youtube logo and hit ok now i'm gonna drag the youtube logo from the project panel over to the timeline and extend the duration of this logo by default it was 5 seconds click on this little settings or gear icon to active the safe margin helps us to align the animation well it is time to bring the logo to the upper layer and take the type tool to type something on the monitor like youtube double click on it in order to select all of the text so that you can customize the text inside effect controls when you have done the editing then get back to the selection tool next we have to place the text layer underneath the logo layer let's find out the transform effect inside effects section select both of the layers first to apply the effects to both of the layers at a time now we have to highlight the logo layer first then inside effect controls under the transform effect lower the exposition value of the logo to push it to the left now select the text layer and adjust its position and its scale then create a keyframe of the position ok don't move the time indicator position get back to the logo and create a keyframe of the position drag the time indicator to the left once again or 60 frames based on the 60 frame sequence to add another keyframe at the same time indicator position set a keyframe for the text layer move the text layer to the left by decreasing the x value of the position Go to the logo and increase the X value of the position to bring the logo to the right. So initially we made this animation. We need to grow through the effects to find out the basic 3D effect. Apply this basic 3D effects to the logo on the timeline. We can make a couple of changes to this effect. First set a keyframe of swivel. Click on this right arrow icon to go to the next keyframe and add another swivel keyframe in this position. So now we can go back to the first keyframe and change its value to 90 degrees. I just wanted to let you know the logo has gone when you change the time indicator position. You notice the basic 3D effect doesn't work well. So we must drag this logo up to the transform effect to fix this issue. Well, it's ok now. To make the animation a bit smoother, we can ease out the beginning keyframes and ease in the ending keyframes. Next, go to the text layer. To hide the beginning part of the text, we have to bring some adjustments. I think the crop effect allows us to make it possible. Let's apply the crop effect to the text layer. In the effect controls, make sure the second keyframe of the text layer is selected. Then add a keyframe of the left controls under the crop effect. Select the crop effect first to enable it. Then inside program monitor, drag this left margin to the right. Go to the first keyframe of the transform effect by clicking the left arrow icon to create another keyframe of the left parameter. Now drag the left margin to the right for this keyframe. To make the animation a bit smoother, we can ease out the beginning keyframes and ease in the ending keyframes. Let's move the logo to the right a bit. So first select the logo layer and then go to the first keyframe of the position by clicking on this left arrow icon. Now we can increase the X value of the positions a little bit. It looks fine now. Ok, it is time to finish the ending portion of this animation. Select the last two keyframes, hold down the alter key and drag the selected keyframes to the right to make it duplicate. Do the same thing for the first two keyframes. We have to select the text layer without changing the time indicator position. Select the last two keyframes and hold down the alter key to drag them to the time indicator position. Go to the logo layer to select the last keyframe for changing the time indicator position and back to the text layer again. Next, please select the first two keyframes, hold down the alter key and drag them to the time indicator position. So this is a way to make a YouTube logo animation. You can adjust a few settings to make it better. It's totally up to you. I hope you enjoy this animation tutorial in Premiere Pro. I'll be back in the next tutorial. Till then, goodbye.